G'day. Welcome to our show. On today's episode, we're going to be talking all about... What's this thing? It's a door. We're going to be looking all about doors and talking about doors around Australia on today's show. So let's go have a look at them. Now, just a quick warning when you're around doors in the wild is that you've got to be careful because sometimes a door is going to want to close and if you're standing in his mouth, then you could get hurt. Now, I'm risking my life right now standing in this, in this door's mouth. So I'm going to step out and I'll give you an example of what could happen if you put your hand in his mouth. So I put my hand in his mouth here I got my hand in his mouth. And that's what happens if you put your hand in the door's mouth. Now on today's episode, we're looking all about doors and all the different kinds of variations of doors that we have in Australia. When my mum called me Rogan on the day that I was born on, she knew this boy will know a lot about doors and he'll be able to tell everyone about them. And we've got a lot to cover. Doors is a big subject. There's a lot of things to talk about. So we should get straight into it, I say. But one of the doors that uh, occurs in nature um, it's a pretty amazing kind. Arch of the backway door. As, uh, the arch of the backway door is, looks a lot like this one here. This is one of them. Now, he's thrown himself up in a big arch. He stretched his back up to let everyone through. A lot of um, finger people might have wanted to come through this way. And he stretched himself and thrown himself up and he's made himself into a nice arch of the back way and now everyone can come through. That's marvellous isn't it? You know what they call this one? This one's the seeing eye door. It's called the sand eye door for three reasons. One reason is because it's got a seeing eye and it can look at you and tell you when to go through it. Another reason is because you can see through it. When you look through it and you look with your seeing eye, you can see straight out to the outside. And the other reason is because it's the door. So you definitely be very grateful for these seeing eye doors, they help us to come in and out sometimes when you can't, you know, open the door. Now, one of the kinds of doors that we have, which sometimes is a little less not pleasant, is naughty time uh, jail doors. Now all these fellas in here, these little wing flappers have been a bit naughty. And so you see they're in these doors with their bark here. And this means that they can't come out. Sometimes even some four-legged, like what we've got right here. See these little four-legged there. They're having a nice little nap. But they've been a bit naughty. And so they're 
in the jail door. Very good. Ah, one of the things I love about doing our show is all this nature. Ah, oh, Petaluscus, white. Put that flower there. Look at the sky. Need a drink of beer. Mmm. Ah, oh, another flower. Keep this one here in my pocket. Ah, look. Now, what we've got here is we're, uh, something that we're very lucky to have found because this kind of door is sometimes very hard to find in nature. And what this one is, is a grass door. And when an animal wants to live in its house, in the nature, it'll make itself a door, a grass door. It makes it out of grass. And then it has a door on its house. So let's give a knock and see if who's at home. Might not be at home. Nah, it looks like he's not at home. But that's you. That's a grass door. And, yeah. Now, you're probably thinking I've forgotten one again. Well, I didn't forget it, I thought. I didn't forget it. What it is, is this one right here. This one's called the metal box door. Now, the interesting thing about this guy is he can take you up or down. And so if he wants to think about it in his mind, he'll take you up into his head, and he'll think all about you, and so he'll let you go when he's thought about it. Or if he's feeling hungry, he'll take you down. He'll take you low, low down into his bellows and I've never been down in one, so I don't really know what will happen to you, but probably not too bad. Good on you, mate. Now, one of the most important things for you to know about doors is where do all the doors come from and how did we get them? And where do they, where do they start off? Well, I can tell you all about it right now. Where doors come from is right here. This thing. Now this thing turns at an alarming rate when it's thirsty. And one of the byproducts of it being so thirsty and turning, because it's trying to pull you in a drink, is a door will pop out about every five or ten minutes and now it's just popped out a door a minute ago and someone came and grabbed it for their shed so we don't have to worry about one popping out right now but any second now one will just pop right out of there so keep up the good work door maker now another door that i've been looking for and i've found right here as well is this kind right here. So if I'm not mistaken, this door is called a pool door. Now it's got the word here, pool. So all you have to do is you give it a pull and it should work for you and do a door thing. This one's a hammerway door. Maybe it's a self-opening door. It's a walking door. And then the door closes by itself. So we'll thank that door, giving us some words and doing a talk for us, telling us about itself and being a good door, I guess. Good on you, buddy. 
that's the end of our show. Um, hope you've had a lot of fun looking at all the doors around Australia with us. I've certainly had a really good time looking at all of these doors, and I learned a real lot today about all of them. Now, make sure if you like this episode that you press like and that you subscribe to our channel so you can watch more of these shows. And uh, on the next episode, we're going to be looking all about glasses. So make sure you tune in for that one. It's going to be an interesting time. Okay, so that's it for me. And um, see you next time, Australia.